what is the most authentic book for the Shia Muslims? I'd like to share with you my own copy of the most authentic book for Shia Muslims. This book is considered 100% authentic and other texts have to be compared against this text, measured against this text. If they are in compliance with this book, they are accepted by the Shia. If they go against this book, they are rejected by the Shia. What is the book that I'm speaking about? It's this book right here. It's the other way around for you because of the camera I'm using. But this is the Noble Quran, the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This book is the holiest, most sacred, and only absolutely 100% authentic text according to the Shia. Other texts that the Shia rely upon for their religious teachings containing narrations of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu and containing narrations from the divinely appointed guides, the A'imma, the 12 Imams, after the Messenger of Allah sallallahu books containing those narrations have to be measured against this book, the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for us to be able to evaluate them. There are some narrations in one of the uh, more famous and relatively authentic books of Shia Muslims, books of Hadith, which is called Al-Kafi. There are some narrations in Al-Kafi, which I'll present at the end of the video, inshallah, for those who wish to read the original text. But these narrations are to the effect of the following that if something reaches you from me, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, or the imma, the Imams after him, if something reaches you from me, meaning if you hear a saying being attributed to me, measure it against the Book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you find that that narration agrees with the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then I have said it, or consider it to be correct. I'm paraphrasing. And if you find that it contradicts the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then know that I have not said it, or that it is made up. It is not correct. It's not from the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, or the divinely appointed guides after him, the 12 Imams. One of the most important ways of determining whether a narration is correct or not, whether a hadith is correct or not, according to the scholars of the Shia, is exactly what's been explained in these narrations. We measure it against the Book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and allow the Qur'an to be the judge.